you. Good afternoon, everyone. Let's just pray. Father, we thank you for this very special occasion. He that loves his wife loves himself. That's Ephesians 5, 25 to 28. Cass, God has something to say to you also. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord for the husband is the head of the wife even as Christ is the head of the church and he is the savior of the body therefore as the church is subject unto Christ so let the wife be to their own husbands in everything will you love and comfort her will you honor and keep her and enjoy and sorrow preserve with her this bond holy and unbroken until the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ as long as you both shall live well did you hear him mommy did you hear him we're gonna try and see if we can get him to say I will one more time I will and all right all right because do you take Adrian to be your husband Will you love and comfort him, honor and obey him, keep him in joy and sorrow, preserve with him this bond, holy and unbroken, until the coming of the Lord, as long as you both shall live? All right, some... I, Adrian. I, Adrian. Take you, Cassandra. Take you, Cassandra. To be my wife. To be my wife. To love you with all my heart's affection. I used to to love you with all my heart's affection. To endure you with all my earthly possessions. To endure you with all my earthly possessions. To give you all the honor of my name. To give you all the honor, the honor of my name. And to share with you the grace of my God. And to share with you the grace of my God. I, Cassandra. I, Cassandra. Take you, Adrian. Take you, Adrian. To be my husband. Listen, man. I yeah. whether thou goest, whether thou goest, I will go. I will go. And whether thou lodgest, where thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people, thy people. Never sense that her voice is dying. It's going down. Thy people, yes, yeah, shall be my people. Shall be my people. And thy God, and thy God, my God. My God. With these rings, with these rings, I thee wed. I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Son. In the name of the precious Holy Spirit. In the name of the precious Holy Spirit. Keep pushing that thing down. After wedding, you're going to learn how to push things down. <laughs> <laughs> With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed. I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Son. In the name of the precious Holy Spirit. In the name of the precious Holy Spirit.
So we met at work actually. We met at this clinic. We were both working and I was in my room. And I just came home from seeing a doctor and was scrolling through my phone when he approached me. And we just started talking, having casual conversations. Um, we kept in contact with each other and then our relationship, our friendship, our ship <laughs> just continued. Um, so we came very close. We met at a particular location because we do similar jobs. And um, yeah, we just stroke up conversation. She was a beautiful girl. And um, I was just intrigued by her, basically. I love him because he's just my everyday person where, you know? That person who you talk to every day, you laugh with every day, you cuddle with every day. Um, he's the person who um, I, I solve my problem with. So we solve our problems together and we always get the best results when we work together. Um, we, we basically became a team um, where we're just each other's best friends, we're just best friends, where we are best friends and we just. I don't know, we're just, we are besties in the truest sense, yeah. <laughs> you know, so that's why I love him. Because we basically are best friends and we do everything together. I love Cassandra because she's the most thoughtful girl I've ever encountered. She's very loving, very family oriented. Um, she just wants to, to make me happy all the time. I just love her for that. And I hope she, um, she continues to be that type of person. And I know she will because that's that's in it. That's just a part of her. Yeah, and of course she's very very beautiful. So babe, we've been waiting for the girl for a long time. We are almost there, almost at the end of the wedding, the end of the stress. We are all in the worst of stars. Our family, our life, you know, our honeymoon. I'm looking forward to the honeymoon. See you later, honey. This is the day I've been waiting for. It has happened. We are now man and wife. I'm very elated. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you very, very, very much. I love you very much.
celebrate the special love between Adrian and Cassandra by joining them in marriage. Now, all of us need and desire to love and to be loved. I want to say good evening to everyone. Hello, first of all, I want to say congratulations to Mr. and Mrs. Delbert. I've known Delbert from prep school when we didn't know what we wanted in life. He's my oldest friend and one of my best friends. From coming entrance, then thereafter, we followed each other to the same high school. We develop a bond that will continue to grow. Even through our frustration over Brian and Laura West Indies, constantly using and wasting the sun. <laughs> when I migrated to New York, our friendship didn't falter. When he came to New York, even after a time I passed, our friendship didn't miss a beat. We hung out in my basement and just vibed like old times. He always made a priority to be a good friend. Cassandra, throughout, <laughs> throughout all these years, I realize and admire that Adrian is a very driven, always leading, trustworthy, and one of the realest persons I know. I'm very confident, and I know he will always do right by you. The first time I met Cassandra, she came to support me and my wife um, on my wedding. She was lovely, kind, and she didn't complain even when he left her to help out the girls to pay for my wedding in Miami. Adrian, she's a trooper and your biggest supporter. As we enter this new phase in our life, we will continue to make our friendship grow and make, our, and make new memories, this time with our wives. Let's all raise our glasses. I wish you on both many, many years of happiness. And cheers. My name is Bahudo. I want to thank everyone for coming and to be a part of this special and lovely occasion for Mr. and Mrs. Delta. Live good, be happy, travel the world, and please, please let me have some meat and meals shortly. Mm -hmm. I am so happy to be a part of both of you lives. Mm -hmm. And I will always be there for you, but not just for you, but for Adrian also. <laughs> okay, a hearty congratulations to you both. Cheers, you're happy. I thank everybody for coming out today. All right, um, I am now embarking on a new path. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We. Oui. <laughs> and what's going to happen is I'm going to ask a series of questions. And what the questions are essentially is we're trying to find out who would more likely do something. So, if I ask a question like, who is older? If Adrian thinks Cassandra is older, then he will put up Cassandra's shoe. Likewise, if Cassandra thinks Adrian is older, she's, she will put up Adrian's shoe. So that's how they will answer. Each question, the only possible answer is Adrian or Cassandra. And they will indicate by raising the shoe. Now, first question.
Guys, I want you to think very clear, um, carefully about the responses to the question. Now, who is more likely to talk their way out of a speeding ticket if it's a female cop? <laughs> who gives the better directions? All right, I'm seeing a trend. Who is the better chef? <laughs> Who has the best dress style? Who takes the longest to get ready? Who is the better dancer? Mm. Uh, carnival season is around the